In the past few days, Mitt Romney revealed Hillary Clinton encouraged him to take the Secretary of State job had President Trump offered it. Then former Vice President Joe Biden encouraged Romney to run for the U.S. Senate next year. But as Romney eyes a possible return to public life, our CNN's Dana Bash finds out he may not be alone. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. Mitt Romney may have lost the presidency. I've had a, uh, a wonderful evening with uh, President-elect Trump. And his shot at being Secretary of State. But he hasn't completely retired from politics, as he proved this weekend hosting a bipartisan crowd of big names for his annual leadership summit. The meeting comes as Romney's name is being floated as a possible senator from Utah, while his son Josh is considering running for governor. America is, a, is an amazing place, and, and you look at where we stand today, and the freedoms that we enjoy. And that's my big concern is, is the next generation and, and our future in this country. His mother, Anne, is certainly on board. Go for it. It's worth making a difference. After all, politics runs deep in the Romney blood. <laughs> Mitt Romney's father, George, was also a governor who ran for president. We did it! Yet right now, she may be the most powerful member of the Romney clan. What do these pictures have in common? Hmm, let's hmm. see. I don't know. Yeah, they, there, is a, there is a familiar theme here. I'm very happy to uh, add a feminine touch to this wall. Ronna Romney McDaniel is the new chair of the Republican National Committee, the first woman to have that job in decades. Your uncle ran for president, so did your grandpa. Yeah, and my mom ran for Senate. And my dad had run for attorney general, and I thought, I've got to go get into party politics so I can figure out how to win and get some of my family members across <laughs> the finish line. Unfortunately, this year, we didn't have any Romneys on the ballot, but I was so thrilled to work for Donald Trump. In fact, this week, she led the RNC's effort to defend President Trump against fired FBI Director James Comey's allegations. This is a distraction. Your uncle, Mitt Romney, was quite outspoken about his criticism of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. It was just a, a difference of, uh, of opinion as to where the country needed to go, but it didn't affect my relationship with my Uncle Mitt. We just, we just saw this one a little differently, and uh, I, I think he's thrilled, as I am thrilled, that uh, Donald Trump's the president. Politics is the family business, even for the next generation of Romneys.